You guys, I'm so glad to be here. Earlier this year, I accidentally moved to Oakland, California. <laughs> now, before that, I've always lived in Bozeman or Montana towns that think Bozeman is the big city. I was in for a treat. I am named Thomas and I have autism. I love trains, naturally. Um, they have rapid transit there. It's called BART. My picture books about trains did not prepare me for the amount of homeless dick I would see on the BART. I never even thought to jerk off to a train, much less on one. Like, fuck. You can walk between cars on the BART. Anyone walking through that door, you don't want to talk to them. I know that much. If you're just changing cars while you're under the bay, it's not good. It's, it's not good. I hope they're just looking for changing seats, because... Oh man, I I was scared. I was scared of crime in my neighborhood, but then I found out it was gentrified. That's why I lived there. And the other thing that happened was I walked around my neighborhood at night on mushrooms, and I found out it was haunted. Like every house was haunted. I I could see that perfectly in that hundred-year-old neighborhood. Oh fuck. I don't like ghosts. Yet I'm here in the Bozeman Hotel. I don't know. There was a park outside my house. It had a bench. I'd like to sit on the bench. There was a sign that said, no loitering related to drug use. So I'd smoke cigarettes there. Wait for my Adderall to kick in for the day. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm going to work from home again. I could have done this somewhere cheaper. But here I am. It was cool, though. I left a gift. I left a gift for my neighborhood. It wasn't even, like, shit on the sidewalk. Because um, that's in SF. That's not in Oakland. Oakland's nice. Um, I bought some crap at Ikea. I had never been to Ikea before. Recall my backstory. That place is great. Um, but then I was like, I have a dentist appointment in Montana. I don't want to cancel it. I like the dental hygienist because she doesn't lecture me for not doing her job for her. <laughs> she told me once she's from a family of six kids, grew up in Big Timber, Montana. Uh, she didn't go to the dentist a lot. She got in that business for the employee discount. I'm like, I like you. <laughs> I'm going to drive a thousand miles to come for my teeth cleaning. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to move back. <laughs> but I had all this shit from Ikea, so I had more stuff than I went there with. I decided to leave a bunch of books in the little free libraries in my neighborhood. And I went to, like, five of these little free libraries. You know, I dropped off the Malcolm Gladwell books because I've consumed them for the talking points. I look like this. Of course I have. Left some various books. My favorite one I left was a gift for the neighborhood. It was a joke book from 1945. <laughs> and in my imagination, in my heart, I just see, you know, that nine year old who's a child of hardworking immigrants and does all the English for the whole family? I want that kid to get the book. <laughs> just to try and parse out a joke about John D. Rockefeller. <laughs> just his parents staring blankly. Like, he can translate it to DMV, but not that shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm glad to be back in Montana. It's weird. It's creepy here now, because uh, I lived in Oakland not very long, but long enough that the fact that I've been back for eight days and I've seen five black people is really upsetting. <laughs> like, I'm scared of white people. Like, I, I talk wrong. I'll be telling a story like, oh, yeah, I saw this white lady in front of a liquor store yelling at this other white lady. They both had dogs. <laughs> My friend's like, why would you say white lady? <laughs> that's, that's what we already imagined here in Bozeman. <laughs> 
What breed were the dogs? They were a pit bull and a Rottweiler. I'm Thomas Blake. Good night. <laughs>